Um, hello, good afternoon. Um, I'm from Anyong Opa and my question is, how does it feel to finally debut it after months of training? How does it actually, I would want to correct that question, after years of training po. So, how does it feel that now you're dating after years of training? Okay, how do um, right now, po, um, we're just very, very grateful po and thankful po sa kung ano po yung meron kami ngayon. And then, um, let me take this opportunity to thank um, our Tatang Robin, our deputy, and also Universal Records for trusting us and giving us this wonderful opportunity. But I'm just very, very grateful po. So, thank you po. Uh, uh, thank you po. Okay, let's go. How about camera? Um, sobrang tagal po naman nag-training and sobrang saya po. May mixed emotions din po as in po sa panagdaanan po namin. And ito na po yung bunga ng training po namin and sobrang saya lang po na kasama po kami aking thank you po. Thank you po. Thank you po. Thank you po. Next. Next question please. Chilpo ni, chilpo ni ako si Mia. 아, 질문 혹시 무슨 네. 있으시면 손 들어주시고요. 아, 일단 제가 또 개인적으로 저, 어, 질문이 있는 올 동안 생각을 제 질문을 생각해 봤는데. So why you guys are um, thinking of any questions that you would want to ask to um, last? 물론 플러스 친구들한테 물어보고 싶은 연습 기간이 길었는데 어, 혹시 어떤 게 제일 힘들었는지. One thing that I'm not broken with Ashley. Want to ask plus is that um, of course you had a long training period, right? But during those um, training period, what was the hardest part for you? Okay, thank you. Uh, sa haba po ng training po namin, um, actually four years po, sobrang hirap lang po talaga para sa amin is the patience po, of course, syempre po. Um, those four years po, hindi po natin masasabi kung maganda po lahat na nangyayari. Syempre, nandun po yung hardships po. And I think through those um, experience po, those hardships po, I think, ayun po yung naging reason kung bakit po kami nandito ngayon and I think mas stronger pa po kami sa kung ano po yung pinasok po namin nung una po. Thank you po. Thank you po. Oh. Uh, Adi, Adi. Uh, 연습 기간 중에 어, 여섯 명이 다 열심히 했는지. Let's also hear from Miss Hong. Miss Hong during their training period, they did they um gain their best during those training period. Be honest. <laughs> um, I think that they really sincerely joined the training. Because it was not really easy situation, including pandemic. But I think that they have a really full of understanding. Also, company tried to explain enough why they have to be punctual, why they have to be sincere, why they have to be responsible for what they are doing. But I think that's why I think our boys really follow well, and then also themselves. I think that they really try to do training very sincerely and well. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, Mr. Minister. Anyone here who have some questions to ask? Oh. Yes. Yeah, okay. First, the law. Hi, plus congratulations. Uh, may we know what are your individual roles? And do you have any? Ah. Uh. 요건 제가 This one thing that um, Tata Probing would want to answer uh, yeah, 한국 아이돌들은 롤이 있습니다 So of course the K-pop idol groups they have their um, individual groups or um, positions in the group 왜냐면 그룹을 결성할 때부터 딱 생각을 하고 이제 딱 만드는 거죠 So before, even before uh, forming the group they already have those specific positions of mind 네, 저는 필리핀은 좀 달라야 된다고 생각합니다. But actually, Tata Robin thinks that here in the Philippines, it should be different. 한국보다 훨씬 필리핀 분들이 더 재능이 많고. Uh, there are lots of Filipinos who are more talented than uh, Korean. 그리고 
훨씬 더 미래가 착착 미래가 밝은 거죠. And there are also lots of people who have like a bright future or they they have a lot of potentials as well. 어, 여러분이 뭐 아시는 SB19을 보셨다시피 필리핀의 비팝은 어, 언젠가 아마 곧 아주 순해질 것으로 아마 K-팝을 넘어갈 수 있습니다. And as you all know, SB19 the um, um, first ever K-pop group. So he thinks that um, there will kind of, there will come a time soon that um, K-pop will be better than K-pop. 그러려면 그렇게 되려면 뭐 하나만 잘하는 멤버가 있어야 되는 게 아니라 다 잘해야 되는 멤버가 있어야 돼. But in order to do that, it's not important to have just one members of having a special team in just one film. But they should be able to do all things. 그래서 노래, 춤, 랩, 액팅 이네 개를 잘하는 친구들을 뽑는데 시간이 오래 걸렸어. That's why it actually took a lot of time for them to choose um, members who can actually sing, dance, rap, and also do a bit of acting. 저희 플러스는 어, 모든 거를 네 개를 다할줄 아는 할수 있는 그런 친구들. And we're proud to say that the plus members can all do those four things. They can sing, dance, rap, and they can also do a bit of acting. Thank you. 그래서 어, 저희는 팀, 팀 리더 제가 있는 게 아니고 팀 리더를 돌아가면서 하기로 했습니다. And we don't actually just want to appoint one team leader, but it's going to be like a rotation. 첫 번째 파티의 팀 리더는 태우가 했었구나. So in the first part, Daniel was like the team leader. 트레이닝 기간 동안에 태우가 고생을 많이 했죠. And they really had a hard time during those times. Thank you, Theo. So much, Theo. 그리고 이제는 지금 데뷔를 해서는 저스틴이 리더를 맡고 있습니다. And then now that they debuted, it's Justin's time to be the team leader. 새로운 저스틴 팀 리더에게 박수 한번 주세요. Please give him a round of applause as the plus new team leader. 그리고 또 이제 몇 달이 지나면 다른 멤버가 팀 리더를 맡고 after a few months, we are going to select another leader from the group. Thank you so much. Thank you okay. so much. Any other questions? Hello, PLUS. Congratulations. We're from PLUS Network. <laughs> yeah, so my question is, um, what is your greatest plus? So what do you think as new artists? Your strengths as an artist. Do you? Um, ah, um, backstory lang po sa group, meaning po ng group name po namin. Actually, di ba po, it's plus us po kasi gusto po namin maging addition to everyone's life and vice versa po. Ganun din po sa kanila, sa papunta po sa amin. And it can also mean po us positivity po. So, I think po yung greatest plus po namin is to spread positivity through music po. And I think not only music po, of course, as an artist po, gusto rin po namin mag-spread ng positivity po. I, and, the answer po. Positivity po. Ito. I need strong. Strong. Strong, right? Chill. Strength and strength. What? What's your strength? Tell. Strength. In additional to what JL said, I think the strength of PLUS is its members. Uh, I think in the uh, four years of training, yung pong members is nagkaroon na po ng strong bond and chemistry na hindi po talaga madaling makuha sa maliit or short period of time. Thank you po. Sabi siya uwi ay kung yun ay mga strengths na the kiss is like. Later when you see their performances, you will know the strengths that they are referring to. Hopefully. Okay? At the end. Okay.
ay ano Marshall of Rider B. Paano na iba ang pipap sounds and dance moves niya sa ibang groups? Is going to answer Victor, producer of Plus Pop. Yes, Victor. Uh, Victor, 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 Eugene's uh, Give Give 50 이런 그룹들은 지금 K-pop 스타일을 버리고 약간의 팝 스타일을 그들은 따라가고 있습니다. So as you know, like um, groups like um, Eugene's or 5050, it's like they are now um, turning their backs on the K-pop style of music and now they are following the pop style. Uh, 저희 플러스는 uh, 사실 지금 팝 스타일로 갈수 있는 실력은 충분히 있습니다. For plus, they actually have the skills to follow to the um, pop style. 근데 아직 필리핀의 많은 young generation, 그 다음에 저의 또 타겟층이신 분들이 아직은 멜로디와 아직은 훅을 좋아하는 그런 경향이 있습니다. But most of their friends are in their youth or in their 20s. They are still in this kind of music which have a like, good melody and then. So, among their songs, My Time is actually sounds like um, K-pop. And then, we also have Amigo who have like South American vibe. 그 다음에 Cross My Heart은 전통적으로 필리핀 좋아하는 어, 약간 발라드한 노래를 좀 빠르게 제가 편곡을 해서 색다른 느낌을 드리고 And then their, their song Cross My Heart is actually like um, a bit of the uh, bad man which actually suits the mix of the Filipino 마지막 오늘 어, 뭐 한국을 더 준비한 BCQ라는 노래가 있는데 이 노래는 어, 필리핀 분들이 너무 사랑하는 R&B, R&B 장르를 저희가 레트로, 약간 레트로 느낌이라는 레트로 R&B로 내가 준비를 했습니다. And actually, we, we still have one other new song, and that is um, Kissing You. And um, it's like um, a retro, um, R&B, which is a genre that most of the Filipinos really like. 안무에 관련해서 전부 다 플러스가 다 만들었고요. And then when it comes to their choreography, it's all done by the plus members. Uh, 말고, 거를 창조해라, create해라. 아마 본인들 걸로 많이 창의적으로 잘 만들었다고 생각합니다. And that's only the uh, data from its instruction to plus members. Like uh, when it comes to their choreography or to their lyrics, don't follow the K-pop style, but they should create their. Don't forget you are living, right? Don't follow K-pop. Okay, understand? Thank you. Hello, class. First of all, congratulations. Uh, I actually have two questions for you. I'm Elijah, by the way, from Acquire.net. So my first question is, do you have an ultimate goal in mind as a group? And my second question is, who are your uh, musical influences? Thank you. For your first question, the ultimate goal, in general, we want to really continue to develop our skills. That's going to be our main goal every day. After that, we will continue to establish ourselves here in the Philippines and continue to grow more, make more music, expand our content. And in the future, we will push ourselves to be part of big board shows and push for a nomination as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the second question, 
Saya kan Tegui semua Dan Saya ingat Dorong dong banyak Dorong dong banyak Dorong dong banyak Dorong dong banyak Dorong dong Inspiration po Dito po kaya po pumasok yung SP19 po Personally po Kasi uh, Kaya rin po ako nandito ngayon Dahil yung una ko po silang nakita Parang po eh, Na-inspire po ako na kaya po pala ng Pilipino po na Mag-perform po ng ganun po na As in Sobrang napahama po ako Hindi <laughs> ko po alam kung anong word po yung ma-explain po po na Kaya ayun Tingin ko po SP19 po yung naging pinaka malaking inspiration. Thank you po. Thank you po. Hello. Hi. Your musical, musical inspiration. Musical inspiration. Uh, I think po yung pinaka naging musical inspiration po namin is yung uh, yung mga other Filipino pop groups po dito and then yung mga Filipino artists po like Sarah Heronimo and a lot more po because um, they really inspired me to do good po and to spread Filipino Filipino music sa international. So I think po like like ano po like Richie Velasquez po from Ipo. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, especially ako musical inspiration uh, San Tito. Kelak naik, ya, very powerful. Yes. Oh, ini kau sudah kau? Oh, tenang ah. Kau. Any other question? Okay, that no, that last one. Okay. MJ Felipe from ABS TV. I have two questions. Number one is. Um, why four years? Because I, I interviewed uh, other people groups. It, it would only take them about a year or two years, maximum three years. But why did it take the group to be trained for four years? Why four years? <laughs> I'm also very Christian. Why four years? Actually, we do not really decide how many years we need to train the, our talents. Right. But, of course, while we are training these boys, there was a pandemic, almost two years. Yeah. And then, in our company side, we need to fully know about the, our talents. Okay. Their personality, and then how much they have also passion. But these kind of things, only short period, we cannot really catch. Right. Uh, because in order to be a good artist, they should have a also good skill, but also they should also have a good personality and a passion. So in order to check that one, actually, yeah, we really need to have a long training so that we really understand and then know about them. And then we also choose the best talents for our company side. I actually agree with you because um, I also interviewed some of the coaches from the, the Dream Maker. Sometimes there are groups that take about seven years or nine years and they, they don't even get the chance to be uh, seen or heard after years of training. But 2023 minus four, that's uh, nine, uh, 2019. And I was looking at their profile boys uh, I think the oldest is 24 right now. So back then, some of you are in your 20s, 16, 17, 18. Um, and you're right, Addy. Uh, it happened during the pandemic. That's why it got delayed. But that gives you an unassurance that your work uh, will not pay off. I mean, we will not get to see you. So what assurance did you get from the group or from the management that merong mararating tong training natin. Kasi, I can understand, teens kayo, you know what happened to your studies? Nag-stop ba yun? Uh, 
So parang I'm sure during the pandemic, parang the anxiety, the confusion. So how did you manage that? And for the team, how did you handle that? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Uh, I understand your question. Thank you so much. But uh, personally, the voice answer and then additionally, Alright. Anyone from the boys who would want to answer that? Just yes, just me. Well, that is correct. That whole reassurance is very true. I think the one thing that really goes in our mind is trust the process. It's a lot of trust. They decided to keep us. They, those times when communication was, of course, lacking because a lot of there was a lot of messiness with communication during the pandemic, but I think the solid base is as to why we kept going was trust, trusting the company, trusting Dr. and trusting, and trusting the boys as well. Who else? Uh, JM? JM. Uh, actually, those years of trainings po talaga, hindi po namin may iwasan na may times po that something sumuko since yun nga po sabi niyo po wala pong assurance kung may mararating po kami pero during those time, during those Aram, um, during those hard times po ang pinakawakan na lang po talaga namin is yung isa isa po to the point po na mas iniisip ko na lang po na mas gusto ko silang kasama po kesa po isipin po na may mararating po ba ako kasi during those trainings po grabe na po yung bond na nabuo ko at yung Grabe na po, sobrang connect na po ako sa kanila that time and I treat them not only as my members po, co-trainees po, kundi as my real brothers na rin po. So, I think po, the members po, sila po yun na gave isang reason po bakit po nag-push through kami until now po. So, nag-stop kayo with studies first? Nag-stop kayo uh, with studies Actually po, during those trainings po, nagsasabay po kami ng studies po and na uh, career po. But, dumating rin po talaga yung time na need po namin mag-choose kung ano po talaga yung path na itetake po namin. And hindi po siya madaling process po kasi syempre po may family po kami and we have to think po not only ngayon lang po, syempre yung future din po namin. And I think po we made that best decision po, I can say po. Yeah, show business. Tata Robin, how did you... Tata Robin, how did you uh, assure the boys that something will come out of the Ah, yes. Uh, how can I assure that to the boys? I should. Sure. Uh, okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. They already know about SSB 19. I have experience, right? Our company was already five years to train that time. Uh, but maybe boys believe me about right. that. Ah, uh, every third. Train, train, train. They just really have that belief that after years of training, they for sure they will Right. They just trust that. Okay. Last question for the boys. How are you uh, handling yung pressure? Because through the years, to maas na nung tumaas yung caliber ng mga bebop groups, no? The visuals, the sounds. Iba -iba na talaga. And some of them are even now learning how to speak Korean to cross over. So, paano nyo hinahandle yung pressure na yon? Or do you feel the pressure in the first place? Um, actually, po, syempre po, sa industry po na to, and syempre po, sa ibang industry din po, hindi po talaga mawawala po yung pressure po. But, I can see po, meron pong time po talaga na magbe-breakdown, burnout po. Pero, ayun po talaga, the members po, sila po talaga yung nagbigay sa akin, or sa isa't isa po ng strength po. And also, Tatang Robin, teacher, um, Miss Kathleen, Miss Ka Miss Ka Mrs. Kathleen po, sila po talaga yung mga tao na hindi po hinahayaan kami na kami lang po magsasuffer alone po. And they always give us assurance po na kung may mararating po kami or wala po. Kathleen, I'm right, no? The pressure of the sound to be different. To be yes, different. yes, yes. And you'll see it later when they perform. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, uh, we sorry, we, uh, we don't have time. Only last it. Okay, sorry. Okay, last. Okay, yes, thank you. Uh, okay, okay, uh, okay. First and you last. Okay. Last two questions. Okay. 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 okay, first and last. Thank you. Sir. Congratulations po for uh, coming to this day. Uh, yung question ko po, uh, actually, tatlo po sana, pero Thank sige, ito na lang. <laughs> uh, since uh, it was mentioned a while ago, I'm Chrisel from PEP. Uh, since nabanggit po kanina yung uh, parang training nyo for four years, can you share with us a specific challenge you faced during those days or during those years to be specific and how that changed your perspective and made you stronger now? Thank you. Who would like to answer? Gamma. Siguro po yung pinaka-challenge po namin na naging stronger po kami yung sa dance po and sa vocals po. Sa dance po, nag-2,000 runs po kami. Bawat song po namin, yun po sobrang nakapagod. As in, parang, ah, oh, ulit-ulit na ka. Ganun po. Eh, pero, patuloy po namin siya ginagawa. Eh, parang yun po yung parang nagbigay sa amin ng lakas po. Thank you po. Thank you po. Ito ko na doon. At ito yung question It's okay. Are you happy? Okay. Uh, for another question, um, how do you envision your music and performances evolving over time and what new challenges or goals are you excited to tackle or to do in the future? Kahit anong goals po na parang uh, talagang you look forward nyo na makuha nyo or magawa nyo in the future. The Recording our future plans, actually we're planning to present it later po. Okay, mamaya. Okay, thank you. Last. Hi, boys. Good afternoon. Congratulations. My name is Margaret Francisco, and I would like to really represent myself from the P-pop community. So, hashtag P-pop rise. Let's go. Let's go. And my first question is, after four years, or during the four years that you are training, is there any chance that each one of you think that it is not my calling or did you uh, ever think to give up on that particular dream of yours? Anyone can answer. Was there ever a time that you thought like yeah. that, that it wasn't for you? <laughs> uh, for me, before I was in the hospital, I was in the hospital, Pinag-isipan ko po kasi ang dami pong sacrifices ko na kailangan kong kapalit kung saan po ako papunta. Yung studies ko, tas sa pampanggal ko ako nakatira, kailangan kong mag-move dito sa Manila. Kaya before po na pasukin ko po ito, talagang pinag-isipan ko po, ah, nag-pray din po ako na kung ano pong ipigay mo, tatanggapin ko lang po. Tas sa tingin ko po, pinag-audition po ako, sa tingin ko po calling po yung Natanggap po yung email po na, ayun po, natanggap po ako. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And uh, for my last question, but before before my last question, I would just like to say from the people community, Amigo, cross my heart, it's your time to shine. <laughs> of yours because I do know that each song of yours is your baby but if you were going to choose one of your most favorite song from that three what, what would that be and why I think one by one answer please yes please. what's your favorite favorite song for me that would be Amigo and that's why Amigo is my favorite poem um, growing up as the only child uh, with no siblings, um, yeah, just having just being an only child automatically represents like oh, just you have no one to look up to. But then growing up, I met some close friends of mine, including the boys as well. Uh, my kuya, I have a lot of kuyas that I look up to, and I always need that someone to look up to, and I need that brotherhood when it comes to them. So having that strong bond with them is what 
made me like Amigo. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you, Justin. You. Okay, come. At him, sorry. Uh, personally, I like my time because it's actually the story of us when we were still trainees. So, yung book my time, parang na witness niya. It's a witness. It's a witness ng struggles, frustration namin anim, especially nung time na binubuo pa lang po yung final members. So there are times na um, nagdaud kami sa sarili namin, sa skills namin. But ayon, yun din yung naging inspiration namin. Why? Ganun yung lyrics ng my time. Yun lang po. Thank you. Thank you. Um, sa akin po, same po rin kay Kuya Matt po kasi yung My Time po, it's actually our story po. And I love that song po kasi through that song po, naging daan po siya para makwento po sa mga tao kung ano po talaga yung pinagdaanan namin before coming to this journey, before coming to this day po. So, the same explanation po as Kuya Matt po. Thank you po. God. Uh, for, for me po, cross my heart. Kasi po dito ko po natuklasan yung mga parang akala ko pong hindi ko po kayang gawin. Pero posible pa lang lahat po kayang po lang gawin. Yun po. Sige po. Um, for me po, cross my heart po because yung song po na to, natestit po talaga yung um, other side of our talents po. Kasi yun nga po nung sa MV po namin, we need to do actings po. So I think, ito po yung pinaka-memorable po sa akin. For me po, personal niyo po, katulad ng team po, may harag po, cross my heart po. Kasi dito po, hindi lang po performance yung ginawa po namin. Parang nag-try din po kami ng mga hindi po namin ginagawa dati, tulad po ng pag-aak po. Parang nagbabas po kami sa comfort zone po namin. Uh, pero dahil po doon, parang mas naging confident pa po kami kumarap po sa tao. Okay. Dito. Ma! Pampasok. My favorite? Yes. yes. Especially... For me, all three songs are my favorite because each song gives a different flavor and brings out the versatility of Plus. Oh, yeah. Ding, chaka, the last again. Then, irong kusibun, irong kusibin, K-pop idol ang dumtulik. Ah, actually, for Tata Rocky, he thinks that this um. Like appearances or features is totally different with uh, the K-pop idol. So, same question, K-pop idol again. How do you answer it? Yes, it's the same question as K-pop idols. How do you think they will answer? That's something fun. They will just answer, I like all the three songs. Then, they will just answer, I like all the three songs. But they are so straight to the point. <laughs> uh, you know, they are so honest. You don't get chosen. And he actually like. I like. But honest. 앞으로도 많이 사랑해 주시고 혹시 질문이 더 있으신 분들은 저희한테 이메일을 주시거나 따로 향 인터뷰를 원하시면 연락을 주시면 저희가 꼭다 인터뷰에 응하도록 하겠습니다. Please love and support plus and for those who have um, other questions that you would want to ask us, you may contact us through our email address and then if you also want to do like a separate interview, we're also open to that. Uh, 아직 uh, 말, 말을 막 잘할, 제가 춤 노래 연습을 완벽하게 했는데 이 말 연습을 좀 못했거든요. They actually did a lot of training when it comes to their um, singing. Um, dancing and then rapping, but when it comes to their speech, <laughs> uh, we actually lack training with that. Uh, actually, 오늘 조금 어 최소한 되거나 뭐 혹시 그랬다면 너그럽게 여러분 양해 주시면. So even if they were not actually um good in speaking, yes, uh, write good articles for us. Uh, 다시 한번 좋은 질문 주신 여러분께 감사한 말씀 드리고요. Once again, thank you so much for coming here today. Plus, I hope Mom Catherine and you will give a round of applause to Plus, Mom Catherine and Miss Paul. The last, last greeting. Always plus us. We are plus. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Mom. Thank you so much.